In this video I'm going to present some of the ways noise based sound materials can be built up. On this surge there's no digital noise source as such, unless one counts the timing pulse output of the dual random generator, which is here. This samples the noise at the time intervals of the module's internal clock, which is down at the bottom. And it turns it into a 1-bit on-off signal. Incidentally, this can be done also with the step function generator. This module. Nearly all the outputs of the noise source and random generator sound very dark when straight out of the box. This is the sample and hold source, sample and hold source black output, pink noise, white noise. Also there's the timing pulse the stepped output and the smooth outputs of the random generator. Only the timing pulse is very wide in bandwidth. However, there are ways that one can center these dark sources either by passing them through VCFs, which is of course an economical way of doing it, or centering them via pitch or amplitude modulation. Both of these types of modulation work, but give different results. This is what it sounds like if I center noise on an oscillator using amplitude modulation. As I turn the pitch on the oscillator, the noise center moves up. I'm using the timing pulse as the source signal and it's going in to the uh, input of the uh, AM input of a VCA before it's reaching the oscillator. You can also hear a similar effect if you take the same time impulse signal and plug it into the FM input of a new timbral oscillator. The noise is again centered on the pitch, so I can make it higher or lower, and I can control the amount of noise signal in the pitch. So we hear more or less of the pitch. Or I can put the same signal into the VC Orgs frequency modulation control, where I can control the amount of modulation there as well. But here I get a more kind of split noise effect. It's not so centered on the pitch as it was before. Another way of mixing a pitch signal with a noise signal is to put the noise signal into one side of a comparator and the oscillator signal into the other side of the comparator. Here I've got the noise signal going into the positive side of the comparator and an oscillator uh, saw wave going into the negative side of the comparator. And now by moving the comparator I can change the quality of mix between noise and pitch. I hear the pitch all the time in some form or another.
and of course it depends on what kind of quality of noise I'm using. Whether I'm using here, I'm using the smooth output of the random generator, but I can use other outputs, and I can use different speeds of the clock. Going to kind of Morse effect. And the pitch breaks up. So there are a lot of different noise qualities that can get be get got out of that particular technique. I hope you've enjoyed this video on some of the noise signals that we've managed to get out of the noise source and the dual random generator. If you want to hear any more of these tutorials on getting sounds out of the surge, then please subscribe to the channel.